You are not wrong. You can't mess up. What if you had all power? What if everything that you did was what was supposed to happen? All the men about to be in your inbox. No. That don't mean I want anybody. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying that, you know, everybody gonna hit you up now. Yeah, whatever. But everybody ain't ready for this. It's gonna take a whole lot start walking in my truth and my truth is my happiness and that's every day Apologetically, Audra and Super Sassy Sinet of Cooking Couture Atlanta. You can find me everywhere at Cooking Couture Atlanta where cooking is sexy. You're watching Hashtag Verse TV. I'll be here all week, baby. Please comment, rate, like, share, and subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you jot. <laughs> If you had all the money and power necessary, what would you do to change the way you feel um, would most benefit the LGBT plus community? You know what? I wish that we all could go to therapy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the whole motherfucking world, we could all hold hands and all go to therapy. But since we can't do that, I, but you know what? I want something back and forth. I want something reciprocal. It's some shit I want from the people that are friends and lovers and love people in the LGBT community. And that would be me. You know what I'm saying? I haven't yet, but see, now, now y'all got a new letter that might be me. The C, I heard at the end, it's curious. I was like, well, goddamn, this is everybody, ain't it? And my brother's talking about, I ain't curious what the fuck I am. <laughs> 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 Limit yourself if you want to, god damn it. So I feel like I'm in now. I'm on the last letter. But just as open as and accepting as you want people to be, I want more LGBT people to be more open and accepting. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I want, I want it to be reciprocal. You know, I want us to. I want. I, I wish the fuck I could get the chip off everybody's shoulder and everybody quit fucking with everybody. But you know, you can't. That's the way it is. But um, what I would do is, and what I'm doing, and what I plan to do, because I feel like I can have anything I need. So I, I will have all the money in the world that I need to have businesses, and I will hire people. I don't give a fuck. And I am not going to allow anything but respect from the customers and from the employees. You know what I'm saying? I want to build a world where I show people, fuck, I ain't got to wait for nobody. I want to have enough money so that I can build an existence where I show people that people just people. And we show it by doing, not by talking, but by living and, and living with each other and respecting and treating. You know what I'm saying? I'll have, we'll have people, just people, when they come into my business, they be like, I don't know what the fuck them people are up in never they was nice the food was good that's what i want you know what i'm saying so i'm going to have a uh i'm gonna have ethicists i'm gonna have buildings i'm gonna have all this and i'm gonna have all kind of people working you know what i'm saying but you got to do it on purpose i ain't gonna just be like oh i don't know i'm gonna know you know somebody that paint or decorate you know what i'm saying I'm, it, whatever i'm a, on purpose i'm gonna be inclusive i'm gonna be lovingly inclusive on purpose so that's what I would do if I had enough money and we're waiting on it to come in. I got some lottery tickets. I'm going to check tonight and I'll let you know in the morning if it was today. Because today could be our day. <laughs> we're going we gonna to do movies and shit. We gonna, this, uh, Aaron going to be producing shit. You're going to be taking pictures and shit. We gonna, you know what I'm saying? Shit, that's what is going to happen. So when I win, you win. So if you hear Archie Water Lottery Souls, that bitch will be calling soon for a job or something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so as not where I live or what I like to eat or how I comb my hair, but ask me what am I living for in detail. Ask me what I think I'm, what I think is keeping me from living fully for the thing I want to live for. Quote by Thomas Merton. The actual question is, what is your goal in life, and what is slowing you from achieving that goal? Well, let me start with the second part. Nothing is slowing me because I'm there. 
I'm, I'm, I'm where I want to be right now. I'm where I want to be and I'm headed toward nothing is going to stop me. I'm the only thing that can stop me and our thinking, our thoughts, our words, our energy is the only thing that prevents us from having everything that we want. And then a lot of times we don't even know what we want and that's okay. Stop beating yourself up. Stop thinking you got it wrong. Stop, stop thinking it ain't no mistakes. It ain't no mistakes. Wasn't nobody born wrong. Ain't nothing, no mistake. <laughs> you are not wrong. You can't mess up. What if you had all power? What if everything that you did was what was supposed to happen? So I'm going to live that, walk in that. I'm going to teach that. And I'm going to try to premiate that. I'm going to try to throw that on you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You are exactly divinely created exactly the way you are doing exactly what you were supposed to do. And I'm going to love you just like that. And I'm going to treat you just like that. Because if I ever treated you even different, you're a goddamn lie. But if I did, tell me so I could fix it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't how I feel. So if it's in your core, if you can't wake me up in the middle of the night and I'm going to say something crazy because it ain't in me. Clean yourself out. Get yourself right. Colon cleanse yourself spiritually, goddamn it. You know, get that bullshit out and be okay. Because right now, I'm happy. I'm cool. If I died today, I had everything I need. I'm good. I'm going to die oh. that motherfucker head, face made up and everything. I'm going to be in the casket like this. <laughs> Bitch is right. She'll be back in some other fly shit in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your deepest tea? Something that you've never shared on media before. Something that you're willing to share, of course. But, you know, I push for you to go a little deeper. How many followers y'all got? No. <laughs> um, well, oh shit! I, 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 <laughs> I hope it ain't starting now. Okay, I'm trying to think. Uh, which, which is not so bad. Okay. <laughs> so, have you seen the new Superfly? Mm-hmm. You seen the new Superfly? Mm-hmm. My friends, well, a few of my friends and models were in that. Two of my okay, models so you, was in so, it. So you've seen it. Mm -hmm. So the relationship that he had, the polyamorous relationship, mm -hmm. that's my ideal relationship. Mm. That's the tea that nobody knows. Let's see how many followers we get out this year. <laughs> 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 you to have everybody <laughs> Don't judge me. Fuck your judgment, huh? What you saying? All the men about to be in your inbox. No. That don't mean I want anybody. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying that, you know, everybody going to hit you up now. Yeah, whatever. But everybody ain't ready for this. It's going to take a whole lot. You better cover what he had. Shit, if you come to me. <laughs> but I don't want to choose. I want it all, goddammit. Call me what you want. Call me greedy, goddammit. <laughs> I want it all. I want it. Bo, what are you, everything? <laughs> Hetero homosexual, oh, god damn it. <laughs> I'm everything. What is the day? Oh, it's Monday. I'm everything. <laughs> I'm only on Mondays. Tuesday. <laughs> Thursday. So what are some stumbling blocks that you've had on your past up and how did you overcome? Being concerned about what people thought, how they felt, trying to think that I could control somebody else's happiness. You know, usually when people don't want you to do something, it's because they don't want you to do it so they can be happy. Motherfucker, I'm being happy from now on. I don't do anything I don't want to do. I don't go where I don't want to go. I don't do anything. I am, if it don't feel right, I don't do it. If it don't feel good, if I'm nervous, I'm worried, I'm concerned, that's the spirit. We have everything that Jesus had. We just don't use it. And so when I got freed from people's opinions and start walking in my truth, and my truth is my happiness, and that's every day. You know what I'm saying? That's at every moment. Um, someone asked me uh, the other day, why, why don't you make your daughter do something? Mm. I said, when you are made to do something, how you feel about it? When you, it ain't the, I, don't, I don't want nothing but your best and what's good. You know, so she uh, is very creative and she does a lot of stuff. And I said, all the stuff I need her to do is creative and I need her to be in a good space. 
Because when the bitch in a good space, this nigga just, I'd be like, ooh, that is my child. You know what I'm saying? Look, bitch, you like your mama. <laughs> you know, but so I wait. And, and so often we end up waiting to the last minute because then at the last minute it kicks in and her attitude changes. But all, all I want is good. I want everything to be fucking good. I want everybody to be happy. I want the best out of you. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make you feel good. So what I do is I help con- try to contribute to that. She be working on stuff with me. Can I go get you something to eat? Can I, can I pour you a glass of wine? What can, I, what can I do to make your experience better? What can I do to make you want to fuck with me? You see what I'm saying? I, and see, that's my job. If I want something out of you, then I need to make you want to do it for me. Instead of getting mad, hollering, cursing, blaming, all that negative bullshit. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? I know that Henderson likes strawberry cake. Uh, he came in this motherfucker. He's like, it's a strawberry cake. My grandma. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know it. I, I seen a dude one time. I, when I first met him, he was uh, cutting hair at the barbershop, and he was eating uh, M&M's, almond M&M's. One day, as uh, things would have it, the nigga was at my house. I, uh, I had a bowl. He said, what's in that bowl? I said, almond M&M's. He was like, you lying. Motherfucker thought I was psychic. No, bitch, I can see. <laughs> see you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but if you care, if you got to do those little things, you got to. I'm on a mission, man, to be happy and to make everybody around me happy. Mm-hmm. It works. You know that old saying, you get more bees with honey than vinegar? Try that shit, like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Wake up tomorrow and, and really, like, oh, I posted on, um, I have, a like, an acting page. It's Audra Speaks Live. And I posted one day, uh, it was black. I made it on a, on a, a app. It said, whatever the scripture is, it says, judge not that ye be judged. Let that sink in. Now have a good day. Like for real, motherfuckers. Like try today not to judge nobody. The person that cut you off, that motherfucker, maybe they was dying. Maybe they was sick. You know what I'm saying? Like stop judging. Like quit fucking tripping and you will have a wonderful life. Mm-hmm. So what is something that you would like to be left in the legacy time capsule the legacy of your work ever since I was a little girl I wanted a building with my name on it I want people to remember me as a motherfucker that came and made a difference that changed the fabric of this country that changed the way people thought felt and loved you know what I'm saying? So I got to be an example of that. I have to be, you know, when people see me that, oh, you look like a pastor's wife. And I, and then my, my um, first husband was a minister. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I want to look like all of that. But to be like she was the most non-judgmental, the most loving, the most giving of energy of she being in her presence changed me. I remember when I first met the, one, my first president, you know, when you were in the when when, when I met. And when I met Barack, I have pictures with him, you know, if you've seen it, if um, I felt like he wasn't arrogant enough, you know, I'm like, nigga, you're the president. But when you are in the presence, but it's their energy, baby, I don't care how you feel about Bush, but that's that little motherfucker. He commanded a respect and an energy. Clinton. Suave as a motherfucker, but baby, he didn't play. You, I mean, he seemed all cool and shit and likable on TV. He cool, but he, make no doubt about it. That motherfucker walked in all of his presidential essence. The show me, Peach. Ardra Sinet, unapologetically Ardra. Super sassy Sinet can be found at Cooking Couture Atlanta. Cooking, C-O-O-K-I-N-G, Couture, C-O-U-T-U-R-E, Atlanta, baby, on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, but most importantly, YouTube. A bitch needs some subscribers. (laughs) Let's get on YouTube. Let's subscribe, like, and share, honey. Subscribe, like, and share. That's what's going to be my single that I drop. Subscribe, like, and share. (laughs) Subscribe, like, and share. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.